guys so for this video guys i'm gonna be ranking my top five favorite scenery made by the supercell make what is the supercell make you might ask this is basically a fan where fans can suggest uh decorations um sceneries skins for supercell games guys so all you got to do is submit an order it is like a competition whosoever gets the most votes get added to the game so as you can see behind us we've got clash of clans clash royale brawl stars uh all games guys so these are all suggestions that were made by fans and some of these suggestions got added into the game so it's further ado let's get into it and let me start show you my top five favorite scenery made by you guys on supercell make i don't know if i'm pronouncing it wrong uh to this person uh hail to the witch guys and this one is an interesting one this is why i rank it at number five though i like how the decoration the aspect the 3d aspect guys and most of these are for halloween guys they normally do halloween sceneries uh, it's pretty nice as you can see at the, le the left side of the base left bottom let's just say that of the base uh you got a water you got a little uh tower it's kind of cool like a little witch's tower a lighthouse tower you got pumpkins on the next side of the base with a little swamp and a little cave uh, i like that i like it you know it's it's different than what we're used to then we got the house up here i think this is the witch's house because the name of the scenery is hail to the witch uh you gotta you still got uh the the waterfall but you also get a water water wheel with it i feel like this person spent a lot of work to do this decoration shout out to them uh you got a thousand votes uh, finalists made it to the finals guys and then on the top side of the base you have the night witch statue and the witch's statue with something else and it's interesting i might would change the color of the grass but otherwise than that i think it's beautiful Number four, we got the Alien Invasion by Hidden Stylus. All right, so this one, as you can see, you got a whole zoom out. Pays a little bit of an homage to Rick and Morty to me, because you, as you can see at the bottom of the base, you do have the the car from Rich, Rick and Morty, the spaceship lookalike. You know, it's cool. You got a skeleton head right here. I think this is some alien skeleton head, uh, a little boat right there. And also, guys, as you can see, you got another UFO crashed crash landed in area 51 uh we got the other little stuff it, the trees are burned out i like that i like that and then also we have the grass is pretty unique not my favorite but i do like the idea of this different grass uh so it's like an alien futuristic metal grass and also at the top side of the base as you can see we have a, a teleporter pretty similar to the new egyptian scenery that we have i would love to see stuff come out of this teleporter too like paying homage uh to some uh, easter eggs as i would say and this scenery is nice guys uh this is why i put it at number four but coming in at number three and this is a nice one to me a very detailed one uh the creepy stay by gui this person also a finalist got over a thousand votes as you can see guys i love the skull in the center of the base i feel like this is so unique uh putting a print inside of the base i've never seen supercell done anything like this and uh, let's start the detail on this 3d model is amazing guys it is amazing welcome travelers take your shoes off the entrance and get ready for a creepy stay in our ever watchful mansion you got eyes on the mansion detail is crazy the trees at the back you got the loot card in the front the trader shop right there uh we got the what's this a clan games in a pumpkin patch bro i don't know how this didn't win it came in finalist but how it didn't win uh we got on the opposite side of the base we have a maze with a skull in the center of it is that a is that a giant skull it might have been a giant skull I don't know. It looks bigger than a giant skull. Is there something bigger than the giant? We'll never know without asking Kenny Joe. All right, let's go. And at the top part of the base, we do have a tomb. A tomb? Yeah, I think a tomb with a gem, gem colored tomb. I think this is where something mysterious uh, resides. Mm -hmm. All right, so, but. Otherwise, I digress, guys. This is the, the overall base. 
You got the entrance right here to get in the mansion and you got gates. And I think this one is beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. I got number three. How is it going to get topped? Let's find out, baby. Coming in at number two. And I feel like this would crash the Clash of Clans game because of how highly pixelated this is right now. Uh, you would have to have a Samsung Galaxy Ultra 23 plus excel to run this guys and is the spooky valley by logan born guys look at look at the graphics on this one look at the graphics on this one this guy is definitely a graphic designer all right as you can see we got a little well there where, where we got like some elixir in um we got little town villages little house the the, the details on these houses are crazy all right and now on the opposite side we got a tesla a giant Tesla building coil that's supplying electricity to everything. You can see we got a observatory over here. We got some factory producing something. The tree details, guys, the details on the tree and everything, the color is just finds you a spooky baby. At the bottom, and this is one that I really liked. At the bottom, we have no water. We got a plane and a balloon. I love this idea of getting rid of the lake. You barely see this um, being done in Supercell sceneries, in Clash of Clans sceneries. So I love the idea of this, you know, changing it to a plane, no water, and, you know, just seeing what's at the bottom of the lake. We got bones, everything. And at the right side of the base, we got some more mutated pumpkin. I think this would be able to move. It's beautiful. There's nothing you can say about it. It's a finalist. Shout out to Logan Bourne for coming up with this. A spooky town that lies next to a graveyard where villagers have restless nights. The Shout out to this guy, bro. Number one and the runner up for the last year's Supercell make competition. The Tomb of Skeleton King by Nor the First. Guys, look at this. Y'all, if y'all watch my channel, y'all know I love the Book of Clash scenery. And this reminds me of the Book of Clash scenery, guys. As you can see, at the lake, we got a we got a, a busted potato. Pumpkin? What am I saying? Potato. That's leaking, so we got two colors in the lake. The scenery is more of a colorful scenery. I like. I would change the boat. I don't think I like the boat design that much. Uh, I think there could be a better boat design. All right, and at the at one side of the base, you got a little bridge going into the caves. You know, that, that's pretty sick with a bunch of eyes. Now, we got also the trees kind of discolored. Not too much, not too little. At the top, you got a tomb for the Skeleton King, and he also has, he also has statues of Lassie. Uh, the colors are just beautiful. It reminds you of everything Supercell uh, goes for when it releases some sceneries. And at the right side of the base, you also got, uh, I would say, like some little tower, some little huts with a, a liquid cauldrons with some blue oozy liquid. And I love the purple on this side, guys. You know, I love the purple on this side, like they're building up something. A tomb of skeleton king, cave of spooky bats, pumpkin cliffs, and village of witches. So we got a village of witches. All right, we got a skeleton king tomb. We got the cave of bats, and also the the pumpkin what are pumpkin cliffs all right guys so this is my favorite here guys and i hope this get added someday shout out to everybody that stay tuned in the video if you stay tuned to the whole video comment daddy all right ceo's out of here thank you for dropping in peace look i did be mobbing bitch we came up from the bottom can't even say the trenches i guess we had